Hi, this is Fat Girls Rule and another video of Barbie chat. I have such a huge collection that it's just gonna it's gonna absolutely take forever to do it all. I'll probably end up getting bored doing the videos and stop doing them, but <coughs> sorry. Uh, just got ready. My I'm gonna go see my mom in the hospital. She's doing better. I'm gonna take my youngest son and my oldest oh my nose. It's gonna start itching. There's dust on these Barbie boxes and it just ah, makes my nose itch like crazy. So I'm gonna try not to be itchy and that's gonna tickle like crazy. Um let's see. So and and I'll give you guys like pointers, like because you know, I mean not also do I love and adore Barbie, but second of all, it's an investment. And there's been several times where I've bought Barbies for like twenty bucks. And then just a few years later, it was worth 75 So it's also an investment that Barbie, I mean, like the very first Barbie cost like, I think $2.99, which was quite a bit in 1959. Um, in the box, like new, mint in the box, she's worth anywhere from 8 and up, $1,000, $8,000 to probably going closer to 10 now um yeah and she's just wearing you know a swimming suit she has a little fashion pamphlet with her uh shoes and then her stand um if you want to know what the first barbie looks like um you know it's the ponytail barbie which i showed you in the last video but how you know she's the first barbie one of the indications and is the main indication the only indication really that she is the number one Barbie. And in the bottom of her feet, she has two holes. And in those holes, they're lined with a little copper piping. And then her stand was just a little round disc with two little metal prongs sticking out of it. And her, she went right over the top of those. Now, yeah, you look at Barbies now, and just because the way the mold is, there's these little holes in the bottom. That's not it. When you see it, you'll know it. I don't have any... <sighs> one of these days I will have a first Barbie and I will cry and bawl my head off. Yeah. I cry watching the Ebays and seeing the first Barbies. I'm like literally bawling my head off. I want one of those. I'm like a little kid in the candy store. I'm like, I want one of those. And it's the same with the three main outfits that, you know, worth fifteen and two thousand dollars and up. Um, the newer, the nicer, the better the packaging is that it's in the original packaging, the the more that it looks like it's brand new, the more it is worth. Any little damages on the box, any damaging to the clothes, yeah, that brings the price down, 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 down. So when I see one that is like freaking brand new, I sit there and cry. And I remember my stupid, the stupid bad ex-boyfriend. He is like, one of these days, I'll be able to buy you those things. Blah, 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 blah. Because, you know, he's getting his bachelor's degree. Please. He hasn't even done anything with his bachelor's degree. <clears throat> as far as I've last heard. But these are kind of a little dusty. Sorry. I was just wanted to put out a video. Um, one of... Uh, these are little collection editions of the Kelly dolls, the K-E-L-L-Y dolls. They also um, have, um, they also had a Kelly doll um, that was K-E-L-L-E-Y, like my name. And so they've had used, Mattel has used Bar Kelly twice in their Barbies. Um, but we won't get into that, but I always think that's kind of neat. But this is the first of the of these little collections i like to start a collection of something like my favorite one of my favorite barbies to collect is witches i love witches because i love halloween but i love the witches out of halloween the witch barbies and um this has like and i showed you <clears throat> these two outfits with my first one remember i said solo in the spotlight and sophisticated lady with the little wrap and this yeah, these are what these are mimicking, and then she's mimicking the very first Barbie with a little Smith suit on, the little, and she didn't have sunglasses. And I cannot, for the life, remember me what the name of this outfit is. It is so hard to remember all the names, um, and especially I haven't been reading a lot about it, so um, <clears throat> I forget the names. I'm very very forgetful. One of my all time favorite movies in the world is. 
Wizard of Oz. Um, I have the whole collection, and I'll show that in another video, of the Wizard of Oz. Um, I even have the, uh, the Bad Witch, the Good Witch, all of it. I have one of the Winky, are they Winky soldiers, whatever, I can't remember. But um, I absolutely love and adore the Wizard of Oz. When I was a little girl, um, it would come on once a year, about this time of the year, in the fall. And so we would all watch the movie together, the whole family. And I just would just cry at the end. It was, I tried to hold it back. It was so hard for me. But I was just so... It was just such an awesome movie. Awesome movie. For as old as it is, it is a movie that is withstand time. And... Um, we can all learn from it. So I love the Wizard of Oz. I even collect, um, my mom does this for me. She collects me, I love little teeny tiny oil cans. They're old ones. And when you click the bottom, they go click, 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 like in the movie. So I have to have them. So I have like six or seven of these little oil cans. It's silly. And I have like antique books of the Wizard of Oz and, and how it first came out and, and what the story was really like. Cause they kind of changed it a lot. So, sounds like someone just fell on the floor. Okay, next one is Batman and Catwoman in this edition. Now, first of all, with and if you're looking to do, and I started this before and I kind of got off track. Um, if you're looking to make money off Barbies, you know, first of all, you need to take care, really good care of the boxes. And, um, you know, need to dust them because I don't dust mine. <laughs> um... But, um, you don't want them in any sunlight. Mine are all downstairs in my basement, so they don't get any sunlight on them. Um, and you don't want to stack them on top of each other. I have them stacked right now, but it's just for a few minutes. You don't want to damage, because this crap breaks so easily. It, it breaks, it gets holes in it, it's a pain in the butt. It's so hard to take care of. And, um, but there's Raggedy Ann and Andy. But if you're looking to make money, or you want to do, um... Any um, collection, like these are the, you know, the collector's editions of the Kelly dolls. Um, you want the very first one that they put out, and I think, I can't remember now. Let's see. It might have been this one. I need to dust these so bad. This might have been the first one that came out, if I remember correctly. This is the Hansel and Gretel so adorable but any of the first ones <clears throat> they're of any uh, collection that they do whether it be um gosh can't even think like the christmas barbies you know that first one is worth like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars where all the rest of them are worth crap now um any first edition of any collection that they start doing is worth more like i bought for nothing I bought these like international Barbies collection they're doing. It's all these different of all the different countries. And the very first one was Ireland. And I think I paid fourteen or fifteen dollars for nothing big. I probably got it on sale. And now it's worth seventy five dollars. But that's new in the box. Not out of the box, not played with. It has to be brand new like this. Like I just bought it off the shelf. And I've had this Barbies for that's Alice in Wonderland too. For I don't know five or more years um so anyways yeah you got to keep them brand in the box um little red riding hood and she has the um where the little wolf next to her with the grandma hat on and the grandma glasses if you can't see that detail I may have like some reflections who knows with that plastic this was not a part of the, I'll, sh I'll wait to show it. I was just grabbing them and, um, what got on there? Something got on this box. No clue. Not happy about it either. So there's like something right here. Yeah, not happy. But I could get it off. You just need to take your sweet time so you don't damage the box, but I could get it off. But this is, um, Goldilocks and Three Bears. And uh, adorable. There's a little bear in a high chair, and he has a little spoon and a little bowl. And she has a little spoon and a big bowl. That's a fake table to the cardboard table. But um, so if you're looking to make money off of Barbies for the future, get all the just the first of any collection they do. Doesn't matter 
Anything new that they start, like when I started this little collections of the Cali ones, the very first one will be a, worth way, 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 way more than the rest. But if you just love them and you're like me and I like to have collections, and within my collections I have collections. Like I have witch collections and I have these little Cali doll collections. And then I have the Wizard of Oz collections. I have the Scooby-Doo collection. Um... I'm not, I'm not a Christmas person, so any Christmas Barbies I have, it's because somebody else gave them to me. I do not like Christmas. I am all about Halloween and completely faithful to Halloween. <clears throat> I don't even put a Christmas tree up. Um, I put stockings up because I think stockings are fun and they're cute. And, um, and I like stack, I like fill my stockings heaping out and they get like these great big giant stockings. I'm like a stocking freak. The stockings are so fun because I remember as a kid, you know, you're so overwhelmed with your presents and you're like, oh, I already unwrapped everything, hmm, you know, and you're just kind of playing with your new stuff and then your mom's like, well, you forgot your stockings, you know, and you're like, yay, more stuff, you know, so I always remember being like, wow, cool. So I love stockings, but if I did do Halloween or if I did do Christmas trees, it would have Halloween decorations on it. That's how bad it is with Halloween for me. Or I might, like, start collecting vintage um, Halloween, um, like, toys and decorations. And then I would decorate the tree with vintage, you know, antique Halloween stuff. I do have some stuff, but not very much. My mom has a lot more than me, and maybe she'll give them to me. Because she knows how much I love Halloween. And this one is not a part of this edition, but it is so adorable. And I'll show it again whenever I do my, like, I'll do, like, the whole series of... Wizard of Oz, and like the Wizard of Oz set, Dorothy was the first one that came out, I'm really Dorothy and the three guys, but any, uh, probably Dorothy would probably be considered maybe the first one, and she would be worth more than all the rest of the whole set, no matter what, but this is so adorable, they had the little lollipop boys, and the little girly in the eggshell, and then she is just a mom's kid, and she has like that little flower hanging down off her hat, I don't know if you like really look at the mom's skin's on the movie, but it's so cute. It has like little flowers, little fake flowers, and all kinds of neat stuff in there. And it's like on sitting on top of this big plastic thing. It has the eggshell and the flowers sticking out, so it's pretty cool. Don't know where I got it. I got so much stuff. Probably off of eBay. I love buying on eBay. So I hope that helps you guys out with wanting maybe to work on your collection more. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't help. Um, I can't even remember how her name goes. It's because it's just like words and numbers. She posted a video. Um, I would not know how to do anything electronical, but if you had like some of the old Barbies and um, let's say um, they had like staining on its legs. These are like some of the Barbies even that are the straight legged. I've worked with those in repairing like deep scratches or bite marks um, and being able to, you know, puff the material back out where you don't see it as much. Um, you know, just like repairing, um, like say you had really short hair on one side and um, how you would go about taking that hair out of the Barbie and, and, and just simple things like that. But um, if you're not careful, you can like totally ruin the Barbie. So you need to know what you're doing. And I don't I don't want you guys to ruin any of your old Barbies, especially the ones you played with when you as a little girl. They're very, very important. It's so nice to have a piece of memory from your childhood and of happiness and you kind of could go back on that and feel that warmth inside that oh you know this really um this really made me so happy when I was a child so anyways that's how I feel I don't know if you guys feel that way if you get that warmth and oh I remember when I was a kid I played that you know or this is the toy I played with and and how awesome it made you feel inside and comfortable and feel like you're at home and but that's how I totally feel about uh, Barbies or any of the toys that I have saved from my childhood I have um like a this the Get Along Gang. I don't know if you guys remember the Get Along Gang. And it was a cartoon that showed on Saturdays. And I have pork, um, the porcupine. Priscilla Porcupine or something like that. I'll have to show her to you. But I still have her and I got her when I was 10 for Christmas. So, and my sister still has her cat, the cat one, Tommy Cat, or I can't remember his name. But, uh, we still have those. And, um, 
yeah, it's just kind of neat to look back and be like, I've had this for 30 years. And that's how much I love it. So, um, but anyways, I love you guys. I appreciate you loving my Barbie chat and, and encouraging me to keep going on with my silly Barbie collection. Love you. Bye.